I'm making some of my um, like Christmas tags for some upcoming sales. This is a way to use your own artwork or um, you know just a photograph, whatever. But anyways, I've already pulled my artwork into the um, silhouette library. And that will be Alright, I had it. There. So I'm gonna use I've already made um little tags with these wreaths that I painted last year. And I made tags with this that I did a couple of years ago. So this is a few years ago, so I thought I'd do this tree. And as you can see, <clears throat> it needs to be cleaned up because there's like all this extra little um, like this marking, see that paint? That's just like the edge of the card that I painted this on. So I'm going to get my eraser, which is a really cool tool if you haven't used it. I'm going to enlarge this. And for the eraser, you can enlarge it up here. I don't want it that high. <clears throat> and then just start erasing stuff. Cool. I'm going to leave that stuff there. And to do this, you just, um, like I have a dock for my Mac, but if you had a mouse or whatever, you just click down and that's, and then go over what you want to erase. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm just going to erase it all. These are just like, I don't, you know. The little dots, they could have just been little specks of dust. Like sands in the hourglass. I don't want any of this around. Because if, um, if I click on the image, that's how big the image is kind of, you know, there's like space around it. So I don't want any little bits or pieces around. <clears throat> like that. Right there. Here's some stuff down here. I'm going to lower my oops, size of my eraser so I don't get all over my tree. Well, I can do a little bigger than that. Just to clean up a little. Like I only want to clean that little thing there. So that it's not, you know, it's going to be a lot smaller. And then down here. <clears throat> okay, oh, here's something. Oh, that's on my glass. <laughs> All right, so that looks pretty clean. So I'm going to add some type to it. And that is Merry Christmas. I'm going to do separate so I can move them around. Okay, oops. All right. Favorite little spot. For kookiness and now that I look at it, I'm gonna uh, I think I might want different colors instead of just you know typical Ooh, see, I can. I can go in and change them all.
Oopsie. That looks good. I'm gonna make sure there's no cut lines. I don't want to cut it off or cut it out. Now group that. <clears throat> Bring this back. And I need to size this. So this is three by four. <clears throat> three by four. That should be a good size tape. So now I want to, I think what I want to do is put like a cute zigzag border on it. So, oops, in my library. So I need to search for rectangle and I'll frame. Oh, there's not much there. I used to have everything organized in all these categories. And then they said to upgrade my software. And I was on chat um, when they used to take phone calls. Silhouette. And they did not mention that by doing so, you delete your library. So I lost all of that. And I've just not had the gumption or the time to put it all back in. Something I'm going to try. Frame. Plus, it started raining out. And... Oh. There we go. Something cute and wonky. Perfect. But I don't want this inside. I just want it to go around it. So I'll ungroup those. And get rid of that inside frame. 
downsize this baby. Downsize there. I think I'm gonna get rid of the grid lines just so I can see what I'm doing. My computer, I think it just gets really sad and slow when it rains or else. I don't know what happens. Blind Views is posting something. He's live. My little notice up here. I better hurry. Now, on this, I am going to cut this out using this little frame. So I kind of want this up here so that it does cut out. It's going to cut out all this extraneous here. I'll show you. See the red line? That's okay if it cuts all this stuff down here and on the side. I just don't want it to be... I want it to cut it out like that. Okay, so it so it doesn't have any white on the side of the tree on the bottom. So there now I can show you. Okay, so that's how it's going to cut it out. But I am first going to lock those up, group them up. And then as you know, and if you don't know, to cut these out on your silhouette, you just change the mat to a print and cut, which has registration marks, so that when you print it, the registration marks, that square, this corner, and that corner will print, and your silhouette will read those marks so that everything stays in line and cuts everything out nice. So I've just got to put these guys in. So they're inside, but that's how you can fit a few of these guys. And I think I might even shrink them down just a bit. We'll see, but at, that, at least I can fit five on here and print them out and cut them. So I hope this helps. Um, and I've got another one coming up on how you can add a photo or some of your artwork and you can like cut around it like I could have um, I could have made this a scallop and cut around it but that's in an upcoming video on how to make your own little tags and ornaments on the silhouette thanks for watching bye